Hi everybody, and welcome to my channel. Kamala Mundan Nom Ledger and on this channel school Mama Reality TV shows and my celebrities can you my YouTubers. Listen, you guys, I want to talk about the story that was written today on the Sunday World about the podcast, uh Mark G podcast and chill and what's happening between them and Rosemotene. And remember, you guys, there was this episode uh where Utol Esmo went on the podcast to vent and he vented and vented and vented and ended up saying a lot of things that were not so kind about certain people and then after that uh episode uh she did uh basically launch a lawsuit against them against Tol Esmo, Mark G, Sol and uh the ghost lady okay and now uh they are reporting that they uh, Tol Esmo did respond, okay, through the lawyers to the lawsuits, but Magji, uh, Sol, and Ghost Lady did not respond. Guys, I would think that if you have a podcast like Magji's podcast, you have lawyers on standby, paying them a retainer so that they are ready to act when they're supposed to. So I'm surprised that, of course, uh, they did get these papers, if they did uh of the regarding the lawsuits but they did not respond they, that is an issue right now okay if you're wondering who rosie Motene is rosie Motene, i know her from generations she is an actress you guys but apparently recently she does most of her work in uh being an activist against uh women um a b okay and uh, she does a lot of work around uh, domestic uh, violence and uh, the protection of, of women basically so i guess that is how maybe she comes in in the story because a lot of the people of course when lerato had uh, come out to say that she had been art by uh, told us more uh, a lot of the people that especially people that were activists did come out to say that they were uh, they believed her and they supported her maybe that's why Tol Esmo had an issue specifically with her because what we got from the podcast was that Tol Esmo does not like her and she do, he does not like what she did because he feels like she influenced, uh, she was trying to influence um, what was going to happen uh, with that case, you guys. So uh, the, the Sunday World has written the story, you guys, explaining what's happening now between the podcast and I'll say the podcast, just meaning uh, Mark G, Sol, and uh, Ghost Lady and Rosemont Dene right now, as far as this lawsuit is concerned. Uh, so this is what it says. Rose six default judgment against Mark G, trio. Activists suing for insults on podcasts. Former Generations actress and now gender activist Rose Motene has applied for default judgment against podcast and chill with Mark G. Crew for failing to file papers to defend the lawsuit she filed against them in the Johannesburg High Court a few months ago. My understanding of that is that she filed the lawsuits. They were supposed to respond through a lawyer, of course, I believe, and they have not done that, okay? This after Magaiva or Mark uh, Sol Penduga and uh, the ghost lady failed to file motion of notice to defend that defamation lawsuits in which she is demanding an apology and 200,000 rand from the trio. Mark is a defendant number one while Penduga and uh, ghost lady def uh, defendants uh, three and four respect uh, respectively on the matter. Remember that the other defendant is Tol Esmo. Mutene has excluded comedian Mongezi Tol Esmo Matlangu, who is a defendant number one from the application because he had filed a motion of notice to defend the lawsuit. In the papers which uh, she filed on the Johannesburg High Court on October 3rd, Mutene said Magjib Penduga and Ghost Lady failed to enter into an appearance uh, to enter into an appearance after summons were served on them by the sheriff of the court. The summons was uh, served on the uh, second defendant on August 14, 2023. The summons was served on the third defendant on the on August 16, 2023. The summons were served on the fourth defendant on August the 14th of August 2023. The dies indicate 10 days expires uh the dice in the K 10 days expires on the 28th of August. I think this is like a low term. Uh, expires on the 28th of August 2023 for the second and fourth defendants. 
and 30 August for the third defendant. The second, third, uh, third and fourth defendant have not entered in an appearance, uh, read the papers. Unlike the three podcasters, Mashangu has, through his lawyers, Mini and Dupree's Incorporated, filed a notice of intention to defend. I guess uh, Tol Esmo is a little bit more experienced uh, with the court system. Uh, because uh, he is doing what he is supposed to do, okay? So if somebody files a lawsuit against you, you are supposed to indicate through your lawyer if you are going to defend it. You can't just ignore it, which is what the podcast seems to have done in this case. Please uh, be pleased to uh, take note that the first defendant hereby enters his intention to defend the above action, reads the papers. In the lawsuit papers, which have been seen, Mutene said uh, uh, during uh, or... About 2021, Matlangu was charged with RAPE and AS um, and SEXAS of a popular cattle queen, Lerato Moloi. She said she was not uh, subpoenaed to court to give evidence at the Matlangu's trial, who was acquitted in 2022. Okay, which makes sense because I mean, um, uh, Rose Motena was not there when whatever it is that they claim to have happened between Lerato and Tol Esmo happened. Okay, so I would be, I would be surprised if she was called to give any kind of evidence in court. Okay, Matlangu said, um, Matlangu she said was uh, later interviewed in December 8, 2022, on the popular podcast. She said during the interview, Matlangu called her uh, cool beans and. <laughs> In Ghana, Satan. This because Mutene said Matlangu claims to have uh, pressured the National Prosecuting Authority to prosecute him for the alleged rape. Like honestly, you guys, I don't know. Does Rosa Mutene have that much power or influence that she would influence the NPA to press charges against somebody? Does she have that much influence? I don't know. I didn't understand that even at the time when. Sol Esmo was uh, claiming that that had happened, but I just felt like he was just, uh, he was angry at everybody at that point, okay? The biggest uh, B-I-T-C-H to attack me, biggest number one, a feminist, uh, Evan B. Rosamutene asking my N will tell you cool beans. <laughs> Some words I can't read here. Gwana Satana, Matlangu said, Matene said, Matlangu went on to accuse her of exerting pressure on NPA to uh, prosecute him. She, Rosa Matene, was busy coaching Lerato. I remember him saying that, that Rosa Matene was coaching Lerato. I wondered you guys where he got that from. Tell them, tell them he asked you. Tell them, tell them. <laughs> Oh, because um, uh, and then uh, okay, let me just continue to read because in Lambaga more that they're repeating here, some of it I can't really read. Okay, Matlango said the NPA did not succumb to Mo uh, Dennis' pressure and refused to prosecute him. But Dennis said Matlango's words, uh, Kubins uh, and Ngwana Satana were derogatory and uh, wrongful and defamatory and injurious uh, to her dignity. As were intended to un understood by the pub to be understood by the public to mean that she had an un she had unlawfully colluded with uh, NPA and malicious maliciously attacked him. As a result of the defamation, the plaintiff has been damaged in her reputation and dignity, and has suffered damages in the sum of two hundred thousand rand. I wonder how you prove that the damages were that of two hundred thousand rand. What happened to you? Okay, did you go and see a therapist because of Mo's interview? You know, did you get a headache and go see the doctor because of Mo's interview? Eh, what kuzuga mtambi because you were thinking about Mo's interview? What kuzuga wawa wa pugumlenze wa hamba especially? How do you quantify? You know the amount of 200,000 and I'm just wondering you guys what is the plaintiff <laughs> I can't see this way plaintiff uh prays for judgment against the defendant uh, jointly and severally the uh, one uh, paying the other to be absolved reads the papers Motena is also asking the court to issue injunction to order Matlangu to post a video and apologize to her on social media and on the podcast guys I wonder <laughs> If the court ever give her or grant her that, I can't wait for that video for more. <laughs> I want to see if Toles Mo would be able to do that video where he will be apologizing to uh, Rosemont. <laughs> Guys, 
she wants Magji, Penduka, and Metula to also apologize uh, for Kerry Ker Charing. Okay, the apologist said has to read as follows. We hereby, uh, hereby apologize for broadcast. So he, she is basically giving them the words to say in the apology. So they can't just come and say, I, Rose, we are sorry. They have to say it like this. We hereby apologize for broadcasting the defamatory statements made by Mr. Mashangu regarding Rosa Motene on the 8th of December, 2022 on the podcast and chill with Mac G and podcast. Okay. That's all she wants and 200,000 rents. Okay. So I do wonder you guys, if the 200,000 rents is he, she is demanding it from all of them combined together. Or maybe she wants 200,000 rand from the podcasts, uh, guys, and then the, another 200,000 rand from Tol Esmo. I wonder how this case is going to go. Okay, it looks like Tol Esmo is going to be in court for a long time. Because remember, he also did say that he is suing some of the people that um, he felt wronged him when it came to Ikes Galerad. So he is being sued, but he's also suing. So there's a lot going on. Okay, there's a lot going on, you guys. Listen, Mark, it's about time that Magji gets a lawyers. I'm sure he has lawyers because, I mean, he does, like, uh, big business deals and stuff. But I guess those lawyers would be different from the ones that have to deal with uh, such things. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But I'm just thinking if as you get bigger, uh, you do have to have people on standby when it comes to legal matters, okay? And some money too. You have to have some money just reserved for such things. And you can be like, okay, Rosie, okay, I don't want to go to court, but can you take 70,000 rands instead of 200,000 rands? And it's just forget about this, okay? Maybe take 70,000 rand and then we can apologize and move on with our lives. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please uh, like it before Pumegona and then in the comment section. But tool. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.